Virgin Australia Chief Executive Jane Hurd Licker has urged the federal government to reconsider its decision to block Qatar Airways from adding extra capacity to the Australian market. Ms Hurd Licker sent a video message to her employees yesterday and we've obtained exclusive access to the footage. She says Virgin is disappointed with the decision. We, of course, as a company, are deeply disappointed and it's probably good for us all to understand what's going on behind the scenes and why we're disappointed. Um, the central theme is airfares are just too high in Australia. Last month, Qatar's request to add an extra 28 flights per week was denied, with the Transport Minister, Catherine King, telling Parliament the decision was not in the national interest. The move to block Qatar directly benefits Qantas, which reported a record profit of $2.5 billion yesterday. Herdlicker says blocking Virgin's code-sharing partner, Qatar, means Australia will lose half a billion dollars annually in revenue. Importantly, they're offering us the opportunity to bring additional inbound traffic into Australia for much needed international tourism. And the value of that is $500 million per year to Australians. And mostly that goes to small and medium sized businesses throughout this country, many of whom are based in Queensland. And all of the tourism operators will tell you that they're really hungry to get international tourists back because they spend money differently than we would when we're travelling domestically. Qantas Chief Executive Alan Joyce will front a parliamentary committee on Monday afternoon where he'll be questioned about Qantas's record profit and its expensive airfares.